Hello everyone. This is Dana, the OG picker. I am at Amazon and eBay and Etsy and Craigslist and OfferUp and wherever uh, seller of miscellaneous merchandise. Uh, and I've had a request by some people to show what I do to do a merchant fulfilled listing for Amazon. Uh, sometimes you come across a, a, an article that you want to keep yourself and ship in, uh, not ship into Amazon, but you want to sell it on Amazon, so you do what's called Merchant Fulfilled, rather than FBA, which is fulfilled by Amazon. So there's a number of ways to do this. Uh, I'm going to start with one simple way, is just go to the basic Amazon site and look up your item. And so I have a JVC uh, player that I want to ship out. Uh, I want to list on Amazon and then ship myself. One of the reasons I do this is I don't have a good track record with Amazon or Amazon doesn't good to have a good track record with me as far as not trashing my larger electronics. They've broken two VCRs and a printer for me so far. So now I merchant fulfill that kind of stuff myself and I've been successful at that. They survive and I make my money and Amazon does the I do my own shipping. Amazon just gives you a shipping credit. Uh, and then so you just adjust your price that way because your the credit they give you is often not as much as you would like to have or as much as it's actually going to cost you to ship it, especially if you ship it priority. So just be allowed for that. Make sure you allow for that when you do your uh, recordings and uh, do your, uh, your listings and stuff like that with the pricing. All right, so here we go. So I've started out here already. I'm on my basic Amazon site, and uh, I've looked up the item that I have. As you can see here, it's a JVC Progressive Scan DVD player with a media card slot. So that's the item that I'm going to sell uh, on Amazon. I have that one sitting here. I do have the remote. It's all been fully tested, and I know it works great because I have a testing setup set up here. So what I'm going to do to sell this is if you look over here on the right-hand side, it says sell, have one to sell, sell on Amazon. So I'm going to click sell on Amazon. And it has you sign in, of course. And so here's the listing. Uh, it gives you the ASIN number and the title and the product ID and all that kind of stuff and the list price on it. And it shows you this one at $79.95 plus $7.99 shipping. And it looks like there's only one for sale. So first thing, you're going to see this is a little different than your normal listing would look, but a lot of the same information. It's just the layout's a little different. So I'm going to select the uh, condition, and this is used very good. And I'm going to note in here what the actual condition is. So I just put down fully tested and working great, includes a remote, some minor, let me get the cor spelling correct here, some minor wear from use. It's got a couple little minor, minor scratches on it. Anyway, I have one that I'm going to sell. Uh, I've taken some pictures, so I'm going to choose the file that I have here for it. And let me see if I can find what I did for it. It is in my working pictures folder and it is right there and I'm going to grab the next one come on come on down here I have four pictures all together that I'm going to put into this listing I always get a picture of the serial number and included with the listing. Oop, that 
picture maybe didn't go. Let's try it again. There we go. It took that time. And then here's a picture of the front with the remote. So, and I'm going to match the low price because that works out. And they're going to give me 1063 shipping. I should be able to ship it for that or maybe $15, but I'll eat the rest of that, no problem. I can assign a, an SKU to it. So I'm going to call it MF. Dash seven dash twenty dash fifteen dash DVC DVD player. And I'm going to down here check. I want to ship this item myself to the customer if it sells. And then you click continue. And it'll say submit your listing. And congratulations, you successfully listed your thing. So uh, there you go. Now you can, if you have more, you can sell another product. So that's one way to do it. Another way is your typical way. Let's go over here and log into. Amazon, well actually you can go into your normal Amazon Seller Central and use the drop down menu to add a product and search for it there uh, and look it up and sell, sell yours when you find the product you want and use the normal listing screen that you want. You just at the bottom you have to remember to click that, that I want a merchant fulfill this uh, rather than ship it into an FBA shipment and when you assign your FSN KU, uh, I always put them, that's the merchant fulfilled rather than an FBA. All my FBA shipments get marked as FBA, what shipment they're going into, and uh, things like that. Uh, my merchant fulfills all get a uh, an F or, or an MF listing in my FNSKU. So that's about it. Fairly easy to do, and now you've got it listed on Amazon, and when it sells, you'll get an email from Amazon saying, ship now and they'll tell you how much shipping credit you have and you pack that bad boy up and just ship it off just like you're working with eBay. So that's it.